Hey guys, Adept Dave here. Got a question this week asking about the carb emission standards for on highway trucks and figured the answer wouldn't take very long so I'd make a little video talking about it and then hopefully that would clarify some of the issues people going into California from out of state may have. First thing I'd like to get out of the way is I am not a CARB employee. CARB is California Air Resources Board. They govern pretty much all the emissions things regarding automotive, diesel on highway, off highway type stuff. And I don't work for them. So if you have a question that is more in depth than this answers, um, they have a number you might want to call. And here's the number. It's one 866 634 Three seven three five, and here's the question it said hello do you have any idea the cat highway engines have a deadline of 2023 or forever regards california air reforce rear air resources board thank you you know you basically have to have a dpf to run in california but not only that it's based on the engine year that's in your truck and if you go to their website you're gonna get a picture and that picture is going to look like this. And it's going to have for basically GVWR. Now, if you're an on highway truck, you know, pretty much any freight truck, you're going to be here where it says heavier vehicles on the left. And if you look, it's by engine year, not model year of the truck. So you might have, say, a 2010 truck, but if your engine is a 2009, you could be in trouble. Now, if it's a pre-94, not a lot of those on the road anymore, um, you're going to run into an issue um, because let's, let's break down this little chart they have here. So looking at the left side of the screen. So let's say you have a CAT engine from 2003. So you'd be in the 2000 to 2004 region. If you want to go into California, as of January 1st of 2013, you would need a PM filter, which is particulate matter, which is a DPF. Now, you can have an aftermarket one of those installed. You don't have to have an actual cat one. Donaldson makes them. There's a bunch of other companies that make aftermarket ones. And that would allow you to run in California. Um, however, I would you know, hazard you, if you are going to run into California, call that number. Make sure there isn't any other things you need to inspect or have inspected. And you have an up-to-date data tag for emissions. So sticking with that 2003 truck with a 2003 engine in it, you can still run in California. Now, if you look on the right, it also has a January 1st, 2021 date. And what that means is even with a DPF add-on for your 2003 engine, after January 1st, 2021, you cannot run in California unless you have a 2010 or newer model engine year. Now, that doesn't mean from what I've read that the truck has to be newer. So if you have a really nice Peterbilt that's in great shape and you don't want to buy a new truck with, say, a 2012 engine you know, or a 2014 engine, you could keep your old truck, but you would have to get a 2010 or newer engine in it. Now, 2010 or newer, you wouldn't be buying a cat, obviously. Probably go with a Cummins. Um, now, that would have EGR. It would have the SCR system on it. Um, you know, it would basically have all the latest and greatest... Um, latest and greatest emissions items on it and at that point you could run in california now obviously not just the engine would have to be changed um, if you're going to be running a cummins engine a newer cummins engine you'd probably have to do the scr canister you'd probably have to run the bosch dpf not just say an aftermarket um, donaldson one you know it would cost a lot of money uh, probably the best way to go would be to get like a wrecked truck if you could find one, swap over the motor, um, the DPF, all that. You know, you're talking a lot of work. Most guys aren't going to do that, but this is just, you know, explaining the rules here. So really the latest you could run um, a CAT engine, you know, like 2009, that was about the last of the CAT engines with the SDPs. Um, those would already have a DPF on them and you could run up to January 1st, 2023. Okay, that kind of covers most of the heavier duty cat engines. Now let's go into the lighter vehicles. So let's say you have a, uh, a commercial vehicle with, say, a C7 in it. Uh, there's no retrofit DPF needed for those. Um, but if you go by dates, let's say you had a 
2005 with a C7. <clears throat> well, we're looking on the right here. So you would have a 2004 to 2006, because it's a 2005. Um, you could run in California up to January 1st, 2021. And at that point, you would have to do an engine swap or get a new truck or bus to a 2010 or newer. Now, obviously, the emissions get more stringent each year. So does that 2010 cover forever? Uh, it doesn't specify. At least I couldn't find it on their website. Um, so maybe by 2030, your 2010 wouldn't be good anymore. But, you know, most of these emission engines, they're going to cost you a ton of money anyways with all the sensors and after treatment issues they're going to be having. So unlike, you know, your, your single turbo cat that's been running for 20 years, you know, what are the odds when these, you know, insane emission engines are going to last 20 years without problems uh, probably a lot less and uh that kind of goes over just the basis of what you need to know for going into california from out of state um, if it's registered in california obviously you would know all these because you have to get them inspected um, if you're somewhat in a fleet you'd have to get your uh, smoke opacity checked um things like that but most guys don't live in california so this kind of goes over uh you know what's going on in california what you need to know before if you are going to be running a load into california because obviously california doesn't like smoke right well i hope you enjoyed that video and hope it clarified a few things um you know check out the carb website if you have more questions or like i said call that number um and they should be able to clarify any other issues you may have as far as getting in or getting out of california okay thank you